Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 22nd through the end of the month, okay? So for the end of March, now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. We are going to do the April ones, at least I am, in the next couple of days. So what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I took on another project because, just because, um, I don't know why, because I'm stupid. Um, anyhow, um, no, because I work, I'm a workaholic, that's why. Anyhow, so what do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead? That's the one that fell out, we might as well take that one first. A door. Opportunities are waiting for you. So there's a door that's closed that you need to open. The opportunity is waiting for you to grab it. Beetle, good fortune. Younger man, you can always talk about this person. This person could be a woman. Younger man or younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger man, but you know, it could be either or. Forest. Muddled, unclear thinking. So there is some unclear thinking here. You may be having a hard time seeing, you know, the whole forest through the trees. You might have to really look, you know. I think there's maybe there's some fog or some confusion or there's some darkness there. Um, but if you just go a little bit slower and you take your time, you'll be able to see everything that you need to see. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. You're going to be dealing with that person this week. Fortune is on your side. Okay? So that's a good thing. We have a lot of motorcycles around here. So, And there's an opportunity that is waiting for you. You just need to go through that door. And I'm not sure that you have as of yet. And it feels like you maybe you haven't seen the door. It's there. But it's it, you haven't been able to see it. It's there though. You've missed it. You've missed the door. Okay, so look around. Okay, next time you're out and about or wherever you are, there's a door that you need to, that you've missed. What do we have? What do we have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I feel like whoever this younger man is, I think that's going to end up in the past. Page of Cups, Page of Wands, oh my goodness. That doesn't happen very often, okay? Just like that, and they fell out. You saw how they did. Now, there's a message that is coming, okay? There is definitely a message that is coming. It is a positive message. It is good news. So, good news is coming. This is a welcome message, an invite, an offer. Um, this is something that is exciting. It's going to make you very happy. Um, you may have to keep your focus though. Don't get easily distracted. You could get easily distracted. You may have somebody here that is love struck by you. This could be a crush, an admirer, whatever it is. There's some happy news that is headed your way. Okay. This is going to excite you. So you are going to be receiving an offer or an invite from somebody that, uh, I think this person is attracted to you. I think this person uh, is wooing over you. They have a crush on you. I think that somebody has a crush on you. And they're going to be sending you a message. This person is most likely younger than you. Male or female. It's just interesting because I said male or female. We have female and male here. So it could be a male or a female. You are definitely going through. You got somebody here that is has a crush on you. Somebody has a crush on you. Oh. Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Cups is options. Okay, there's options here, a lot of options, several options. 
I think that you're dealing with somebody who definitely sees you as one of their options. They may see something in you. When I see this red, I think of power. They may see you as a powerful individual. They may see you as somebody that is very bold and they like that boldness that is in you. Um, now the six of pentacles reverse could be fear of rejection. You know, this is somebody who is confident, you know, they are confident. They, uh, usually don't have any fear, but the six of pentacles reverse could be a rejection. You know, it could be lack of reciprocation. Maybe this person has communicated with you in your in the past and you didn't see it. You didn't see it because we got forest and door here. You didn't see that they had a crush on you. You may have missed it. It's interesting. I started this reading out with missed an opportunity. I feel like there is somebody here that is crushing on you that you may not have reciprocated with or you missed it. And I feel like this week there's going to be another chance. Maybe you were moping. Maybe you were moping over something that didn't work out over another option that you had. Because this person looks like they're moping. Maybe you were moping over a loss or a poor decision that you made in the past. And you totally, totally missed something. Five of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles is some sort of hardship. Financial hardship or neglect or abandonment or something like that. Need for help lack of receiving or giving so there's a lack of give and take here not not giving in somebody some attention victim mentality we have somebody here that has a victim mentality there could definitely be fear of rejection because of previous abandonment so I feel like this person may not have communicated or vice versa because of previous abandonment issues or maybe they don't feel like they're qualified. They may feel like they don't have enough to offer you. Ten of Pentacles. But the Ten of Pentacles is abundance. It's a happy, comfortable home life. I feel like this person does have enough to offer you. But they may feel like they don't. They may feel like they don't. Ten of Pentacles is... You know, financial success, it's flourishing, it's long term, it's uh, comfort, starting a family, or something like that. Lack of receiving, this is lack of receiving money or not a good job or something like that. There's financial hardship here, but this is a comfortable home. So you may this person may not be rich but they're but they're comfortable. Somebody may see that you need their help as well. They may see that you need their help and they, and they may maybe this person does have money. This person may have money and they they think that it could go vice versa. I think we have at least one person here that is financially stable. And the other one probably is the opposite. Okay? I think it's I think it's exactly what it is. One person has money, the other does not. And that's exactly what it is, too. And I feel that's why this person has held back. But I don't think this person is going to hold back anymore. Because they are really looking. They are very, very interested. They may see that you need their help in some way. Which is interesting. Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is the past. It could be somebody from the past. But it doesn't have to be. This is, this is somebody that you know. I feel like this is somebody that you already know. You may have grown up with this person. This could be somebody from your childhood. Somebody, yeah, I think it is. I think it's somebody that you grew up with. Maybe from your hometown. If not, there, there's some sort of past connection here.
Somebody, it could be actually somebody that you lived with in the past even. And I, and I know a lot of people don't like that, but it could be. This could be somebody that rejected you in the past or you rejected them. There's abandonment, there's ghosting, there's neglect. But there's memories, there's some sort of memories with this person. <clears throat> Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is a fearless individual. This is, this is somebody that is about to take action. They're about to come in out of nowhere. This is, this is somebody that, that uh, has a desire, okay? They have a desire, they have a need, they have an uh, optimistic disposition. This is somebody that is going to come rushing into your life. With, with, they're very adventurous. This person, uh, just they have some sort of spark, okay? They have some sort of drive or desire or ambition or they, they're going to take action. Somebody is about to take action and I feel like they are, they maybe may even come to your home, okay? They may even, or come to your business or so. somebody could be arriving at your home. This is somebody that you already know, put it that way. This is not just an acquaintance. This is somebody that you already know that is has a lot of passion for you. They are. They have a lot of passion. They they want to start a fire. They do. They want to start a fire. They they things are gonna get lit. I but I put that five of pentacles. That is a that's abandonment of some sort. So that's that's getting me. That five of pentacles. That is. Uh, I don't know if we have a social outcast here. This person may be, well, they're obviously very adventurous. What is this five of pentacles? What is this five of pentacles? Insecurity. We got somebody here that is insecure. This person is insecure for some reason because of their past, because of being neglected and rejected in their past. That's why they haven't come in. They're coming. They, they are. There ain't no stopping this person. This person's just going to, it's going to happen all of a sudden. This person's all of a sudden, it's like they're sitting in their chair. You know, they're thinking about it. They're, they're, they want to come in. They want to make a move. They want to contact you. They want to be in a relationship with you or something like that. And they just decide to do it. It just happens like it's a very impulsive move. Okay. This person just makes an impulsive decision to do it. Okay. Um, Herophant. Oh, their gut. Their gut is going to be speaking to them. This could lead to commitment, could lead to marriage. There's a higher power involved here. There is. There absolutely is. There's a higher power involved. God. Okay, there's a higher power that is aiding in this arrival, whatever it is. Um... I think this is somebody that you already know. Maybe when you were a child. And, and it doesn't have to be when you, but I feel like it's somebody that you have some sort of memory with. Whether it's one memory or it's a vague memory or whatever it is. I feel like this is somebody that you know. Could be a Taurus. Could be an, an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um... I see Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus. That's who I think it is. It could be, it could be a Cancer or a Scorpio. I said that already. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Taurus. This person is being divinely guided to go towards you and they are going to court. You're going to be receiving a message that it's got an offer or an invite. Okay. This person may invite you. Uh, I don't know. This person is spiritual. They do have some sort of spiritual um, knowledge, put it that way. Um, 
they've been thinking about you as an option for a while now. But I think they've been so afraid of being rejected. That's why they have not communicated. But you are going to receive a message this week. Good luck.